When developing an app in Akira, there are two different ways of previewing and testing your app. The first and most obvious way is to use the live preview window inside the app studio that instantly gives you a fully functional preview of your app you can interact with on your computer. The other, lesser known way, is to preview your app live on your iPhone or Android phone just like you would as if it was published to the App Store. This can be accomplished using the Akiro Preview app on your phone. Another great thing about using the Akiro Preview app is that you'll be able to test exactly how all physical features like camera and GPS functionality will work when used on an actual phone. In this video, I'll show you how the Akiro Preview app works and give you some tips and tricks on how you can use it as a great tool when developing your apps in Akiro. That said, Let's go ahead and jump over to a phone now where I've already installed the Akiro Preview app, which you can find on the Android Google Play Store or on iOS's App Store. First, I'll need to sign into my Akiro account. I'll need to type in my account name, email, and password, and then hit sign in. The next step is to add an app from my Akiro account into the preview app by pressing on the plus button. A list of apps I have permission to preview is listed. I'll choose one. At this point, you can select if you want to preview the test version or the development version of your app. As you may or may not know, it's possible in the online Akiro app studio to set multiple versions of your app. One version can be set as the active testing version, and one can be set as the active development version. This can be useful when you'd like external users to be able to test your app while you continue developing your app on another version that won't affect their experience. Initially, both active test and active development are set to the same version, so in this case it won't matter which you choose. Once the app has been added, I'll choose it and then select View App. The app will now be synchronized to my device. This process can take up to a couple of minutes depending on your internet connection and the size of the app you want to preview. When the app is successfully downloaded, it will automatically start on your phone. Now, you'll be able to use the app just as it would work when it's published. In order to exit the preview mode or to reload any recent changes to your app, just swipe with three fingers over the screen to view the preview menu. If I press the refresh button, the preview will look for changes in the Akiro App Studio if there are any, save them, and synchronize the app again. Of course, if I press the exit button instead, I'll be taken back to the list of apps that I can preview. Let's try to add another app to the preview menu and check out a few other neat features in the Akiro Preview app itself. So here's a very simple app I've just made to use in this video. Just for fun, let's say we want to go ahead and show you how you can actually access device hardware within the preview app. Let's go ahead and take a picture of our office here in Stockholm using the device camera. Ah yes, here's Stefan, CEOing. When previewing your app with the Kuro Preview, you can use all device features that are available in your app. GPS, camera, accelerometer, local storage, and so on. Lastly, let's go ahead and try pressing a button in our app that we know won't work. As you can see, we get an exception error in our app. What we can do from this view is simply press the send icon, and the error report for this error will now be sent to the Akuro App Studio. So let's head back over there on our computer and take a look at the error. If I go to the Tasks area of the App Studio and click on Issues, yep, there we have our issue logged. From here, I can open up the error to get details and begin troubleshooting. By doing this, I hope we've given you a nice overview of using the Akiro Preview app to get a more realistic feel for what your app will be like when it's done. 